Chapter 3. It takes a plan to achieve anything of value. When we plan, we identify an end goal and then chart out neutral behaviors to help us reach our goal. This may sound simple, but we can't do it without thinking about the behaviors and benchmarks required to achieve that goal. Choosing not to plan is a negative plan on its own. By choosing not to plan, you're planning your downfall. It means taking unnecessary risks and reckless decisions. We need to map out our route for any big project we want to take on. We need to make a plan that gives us a clear idea of what to do. When planning, it's advisable to start with a simple plan. Through this, we identify our goals. The next step is a little bit tricky as it may require some trial and error. As we set goals in our lives, we'll need to know ourselves well enough to know which method works best for us. We can either learn through trial and error or employ a professional's services to help us. We all know our choices ultimately determine our behaviors, and those behaviors ultimately determine our outcomes. However, this realization doesn't make choosing correctly any easier in our own lives. Making bad choices is the food on which being average feeds. Choice is a competitor. It will taunt us and tempt us to make terrible decisions. However, when we take choice out of the way, we become more aware of our realities, and we are faced with making the only decision available, moving forward. The most important question we need to ask ourselves is if we are willing to make the sacrifices necessary to be successful in life. Our daily challenge is to ignore the choice that makes us feel better now, to make the choice that can help sustain us. You don't have to live like a monk or train like an Olympian, but you do have to make the only choices that will lead to success. There's always going to be competition and competitors around us. The only thing that will make us stand out is the choices we make.